Elliot Budish, 35-year-old truck driver. He's got a fishing license, too. A uh, match came from the National Cancer Database. Married, two kids. They haven't seen him in four months. He was diagnosed five months ago. Meet the angel maker. Have you heard from him since he left? I left him. And, uh, no, no, I haven't. Why did you leave? Because of his cancer. It makes me sound like a horrible wife. I'm sure you had your reasons. I took a leave from work to, uh, to be with him. I wanted to be there for him. But what he wanted was to be alone. He just kept pulling away and pulling away. He made it clear he didn't want me there. And then it wasn't clear. And then it didn't matter why he was acting the way he was. It was weird for the kids. I mean, what kind of mother exposes her children to someone who's losing their mind? Was he ever violent, Mrs. Budish? He was angry. But he never hit me or the boys. It was hardest on them to see him slip away. He lost himself, and they lost a father. I thought that as he got weaker, as the cancer got worse, that it would be less confusing for them. That they could just see him as a sick man instead of someone who was so terrified. And uh, did your husband's faith falter after he was told about the cancer? Elliot wasn't ever religious. Is he doing something religious? He may believe he is. Your husband is dying. Mrs. Budish, and soon. We'd just like to, we'd like to find him before he hurts himself or anyone else. He had a near-death experience. He suffocated in a fire when he was a little boy. The fireman said he must have had a guardian angel. Where did this happen? Um, a farm. Where you grew up. He made himself into an angel. It wasn't God, it wasn't man. It was his choice to die. His choice? As much as he could make it. I don't know how much longer I can be all that useful to you, Jack. Really? You caught three. The last three we had, you caught. You caught three of them. I didn't catch this one. Elliot Budish surrendered. You know, I'm used to my wife not talking to me. I don't have to get used to you not talking to me, too. It's getting harder and harder to make myself look. No one's asking you to look alone. But I am looking alone. And you know what looking at this does. I know what happens if you don't look, and so do you. I can make myself look, but the thinking is shutting down. What is it about this one? It isn't this one. It's all of them. It's, it's the next one. It's the one that I know is coming after that. You want to go back to your lecture hall? 
Read about this stuff on tattlecrime.com? No, I don't. But that may be what I have to do. This is bad for me. I'm not your father, Will. I'm not gonna tell you what you ought to do. Seems like that's exactly what you're gonna do. You go back to your classroom. There's killing going on that you could have prevented. It will sour your classroom forever. Maybe. Then maybe I found a job as a diesel mechanic in a boatyard. You want to quit? Quit. <laughs>